Day 21, Dirac Dice. This one, uh, part one, was really easy. It was a nice change after some of the more difficult ones that I've skipped for now. Um, we need a player and we need a die, a special die. It's deterministic. It always gives you a one and then a two and then a three up to a hundred and then back to one. And when players roll they always roll three times and sum the three different values you move to a new space the spaces are numbered one through ten imagine a circle you run clockwise and your score increases by the value of the space you land on code Let's start with this deterministic die. It has a function nested in the dunder init method that is a generator that returns this sequence of numbers 1 to 100 forever. It has a roll method and it also keeps track of the number of rolls because that's needed for the problem. And in roll it just calls next on the generator. So that's the die. Here's the player. Um, for So when we run we get nice messages like player one, player two does something or other. We have a, a next player number which is a um, class attribute or a, a field, static field uh, that starts at zero and when we create a player we increment that and then use that as the player number and the starting position gets passed in as a parameter and as does the die object the score starts at zero advance works like this we roll three times that's the number of steps we find our new space using uh, the modulo operator here and we increase the score we adjust the position we display a little message roll three just uses a generator expression to do the die roll three times and sums those and returns that and then finally a function to play the game and we instantiate the die we instantiate two players with the given starting positions and then we just keep playing until somebody wins and to do that we have a loop that goes forever and for each player we advance the player check the score if they're a winner then we get the other player's score index will have value 0 1 0 1 0 1 for player 1 and player 2 and so let's say that we're working on player player uh, 1 which has an index of 0 and we want to get the other player's score so if you say not index um, index if it's 0 evaluated in a boolean context with not becomes false so this becomes true and then a true evaluated in an integer context like for a subscript is a 1 so that takes you to the other player to get the score and then we are to multiply the other player's score by the number of die rolls and that's it see you in part two